put your arms around me, honey. Hold me tight. Huddle up and cuddle up with all your might. Oh, oh, won't you roll those eyes, eyes that I just idolize. When they look at me, my heart begins to float. Then it starts a rocking like a motorboat. Oh, oh, I never knew any boy like you. Oh, I love those old time songs from the vaudeville days of the 20s. Sophie Tucker and other famous singers of that time sang those songs. And they're just as wonderful today as they were several years ago when they were first written and performed on vaudeville stages. Hallelujah. Anyway, I'm Sister Paula. I am a preacher of the gospel. As you know, I'm also an entertainer. And for about 15 years, I worked as an entertainer at a nightclub here in Portland, billed as Portland's own Red Hot Mama. That's me. Sophie Tucker was the last of the Red Hot Mamas. She's saying, I'm the last of the Red Hot Mamas. They've all cooled down but me. Flapper vamps, what do they know? Come get your hot stuff from this volcano. I'm an overheated, try and beat it, hotsy tossy, hot and topped. It may be snowing, but when I get going, oh, honey, I'm hot. You can keep your collegiate charmers, their loving isn't worth a dime. Why, away up in Alaska where the natives freeze, an Eskimo left my hut in his DVDs. <laughs> I'm the last of the red hot mamas, I'm getting hotter all the time. So anyway, I went, I'm saying all this to tell you that I also am an entertainer. I love risque material, not vulgar material, mind you, but risque material. For as you've heard, those of you who have followed my ministry and my shows know that I quote Rusty Warren often by saying, if you can't learn to laugh at sex, you have a problem with it. Well, I don't have any problem with sex, and there's nothing sinful about laughing and talking about sex. And Sophie Tucker did it for many years, and I still, I'm retired as an entertainer as far as doing shows nightly, nightly in a nightclub, but occasionally I like to go out and entertain at private parties. Birthday parties, 40th, 50th, 60th birthday parties, or 21st birthday parties are also a good special to be in mind. I got special material for all these kind of events, bachelor parties and bachelorette parties, and so on and so forth. And if you're living in the area that I live in, give me a buzz and hire me and I'll come out and entertain you, roast your guest of honor, or whatever you want to do, but depending on the occasion. But in 1945, Sophie Tucker did a little number I'm going to share with you today at a bachelor rep, was in a nightclub and there was a couple there that were getting ready to get married and somebody tipped her off and this is the number exactly as Sophie did it in the nightclubs back in 1945. Here we go. There's a charming young lady among us tonight who this week is becoming a bride. I wish her success and real happiness with a lucky young man by her side. I hope she won't mind and won't take advice. I'm sorry, I hope she won't mind and won't take offense if I give her a bit of advice. After all, I've had some experience with the matrimonial dice. Three craps in a row. I understand she's a very intelligent girl, enjoys a good play, a good book, enjoys a good concert, plays tennis and golf, and is also a marvelous cook. As a housekeeper, I'm told she rates triple A. Well, my dear, let me give you my thoughts, if I may. When you change from miss to missus, you'll remember if you're smart that you can't serve love in dishes and you can't sew a button on a heart. You can make the most delicious cherry pie and apple tart, but you can't serve hugs and kisses and you can't sew a button on a heart. Cleopatra and Madame Du Barry never held a man with a pot and a pan. My advice to you is when you marry, forget the dish upon the shelf, be a tasty dish yourself. Just concentrate upon your lovin' and you'll find that's an art cause you can't get thrills from an oven and you can't sew a button on a heart. Now look, there are girls who can't boil water wearing sables and kalitsky. 
Not because they feed their men vitamins. <laughs> they feed them vitamin skin. And when you see a girl with a lot of bracelets or a coat of mink, you can bet your sweet life she didn't get them standing by a kitchen sink. You should take care of his laundry, feed your husband like a glutton. But I know of no gal who ever got an orchid for a leg of mutton. If your figure is slim, your hair do trim, he won't mind what's on the table. He'll come home like a flash, eat yesterday's hash, if you look like Betty Grape. And you'll find him caring more for herring than a plate of caviar, as long as it's served by a wife well-curved who can kiss like Hedy Lamar. Your roast beef may be wonderful, but I'm telling you right now, there isn't any oomph in beef that comes off of a cow. <laughs> so you'll find that when you're a missus pushing on a baby card, that you can't serve hugs and kisses, and you can't sew a button on a heart. Ha <laughs> ha, that's it. <laughs>